Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Visual Building Basic to create a fire escape plan. So, first we'll close this project and open a new project. And our new project will be based on templates. We have several templates here. And we're going to open a template with A3 um, scale of 100 and landscape. So that's what it looks like, and we can just click on OK, and the template will load. Here you can see the template, and we have got um, several layers here, um, floor plan, frame, fire escape plan. I'll just tick all these off, and now we can just enable each one in turn. That's the frame, that's the um, actual A3 drawing page frame. Now we have the frame where we actually will put the fire escape plan. And there's a frame defining what the uh, layer is. Here we have the um, escape route and the equipment layers. The equipment layers are where we put the uh, fire extinguishers. Uh, fire signs go on the fire sign layers and each drawing has a legend and there's a, a default legend page here and an overview block and safety notices and optional extras are the ability to create key plans, risk plans and again more detailed extinguisher plans And a note about the layers, there can be only one current layer and that layer is highlighted in red and the other layers are black. And to switch layers just right click on the layer and say current layer or click a layer whilst holding the control key down and that will also set that layer to the current layer. And we will create a new layer called Guidelines. And we will add our guidelines just to the guideline layer. And we use guidelines to um, create a, an outline of our building. This will uh, make it easier for us to uh, snap the walls to. You've got several ways of creating buildings with guidelines or um, drawing through the grid, snapping to the grid. But uh, I just put in my uh, rough dimensions of my building and then select a wall. And there are several wall types. And make sure the wall type is black. And the wall thickness is set here. Um, what I'll do now is change the wall thickness to 0.2. And you can see as I draw the wall I use control W to snap the wall edge to the line so the inside outside or the center line of the wall snaps and you just click and draw your wall like so. I have just fast forward the video um, it took me about five minutes probably less than five minutes to draw the rest of the external walls and then I added my internal walls Right, I'm now going to select the escape routes as my uh, current layer and go to my catalogue and in the catalogue select the uh, green colour to identify my safe area or my escape routes and I can just drag some uh, area, green areas onto the uh, escape route plan and I can now zoom in and just move these blocks so that they are um, just over the walls. The In the final plan the actual walls will actually um, be on top of the, the green area so you just have to make sure that the um, 
tiled areas, the tiled green areas are um, over the middle part of the wall. And you just click the um, handle to select it and click again to place it. Just add a few more. And select the area and then size it. It doesn't matter about the areas overlapping, they will just merge. You could of course draw a polygon um, and fill the polygon, but um, there again with this program there are many different ways of uh, uh, achieving something. I've now just fast forwarded the video for a couple of minutes to show the completed uh, escape routes because I'm now going to add some escape route direction arrows. I'll just zoom in onto the uh, plan and we're going to place these arrows on the escape route. It's possible to create a completely new layer and put these on their own layer but uh, for now I'm just going to keep these on the escape route layer and I select my arrows, drag them into position and resize them because obviously uh, the size depends on the scale you're working in and I'll set this to um, let's see 0 0.5 and OK. Oops, the I need to maintain aspect ratio and I can drag the arrow in, into position. Just select and drag it. And again, I'll fast forward the video to show me placing all the arrows. And zoom in. And you can finally adjust any arrows you need to. And the same for the uh, equipment symbols. Uh, I can drag these in and place them. Um, again I can resize these. I'll have these as one. There are minimum uh, sizes that these symbols must appear on your escape plan, so you must take that into account. Again, depending on which scale you're working in and what paper size you're working on. So these go on the, the equipment layer, and I'll fast forward the plan once again so you can see all the equipment symbols placed. And finally, we'll place the fire signs. Um, these go on the fire sign layer and we can drag these in as with previous uh, symbols and again we can resize these. Just click it and adjust the size, maintaining a minimum plan size. Just drag and place these in position and I'll fast forward the video now in order to show the placement of the fire signs. We've got Rames catalog, a selection of um, predefined uh, templates for information boxes, legends, but these are very easy to make using the line function and you can actually save your own by dragging them back into the catalog. The overview is easily created by taking an image of your plan, exporting it as an image and then importing it back as a smaller scaled image back into the overview plan. Safety notices can be easily created and saved again as uh, separate templates. You can just edit any text in here, resize it, rescale it and uh, save it as a default uh, safety notice for future use.
Printing is achieved best by printing to a PDF uh, driver. There are several free PDF uh, drivers available and you can then select your drawing and print to the printed PDF driver selecting any paper size up to A0 and we've got A3 here so we'll select that to A3 landscape and there's my output to the PDF as a preview and if I print it there's my output as a PDF file I can then print to a printer once I'm happy that I've got everything correct I can zoom in in the PDF and uh, just verify everything's correct and so that's completed and that was our finished fire plan completed in this case with Visual Building Basic. Thank you.